My dream was to leave a legacy ensuring the future success of the sport I dedicated my life to. I wanted little girls coming up after me to accomplish things I had only dreamed of. A year later, I found myself coaching my 10-year-old daughter's soccer team. As a matter of fact, I coached them all the way to the championship. We ended up winning, so don't you worry. I didn't talk about my career much because I was committed to keeping the focus on them, but I secretly enjoyed that the kids knew when Olympian was leading them. Then one day, near the end of our season, when I was warming the team up and telling a story about my retirement, one of the players said, so what did you retire from? And I looked down at her and I said, uh, from soccer. She said, oh, what team do you play for? And I said, the United States of America. <laughs> she goes, oh, that's cool. Oh, does that mean you know who Alex Morgan is? Cue the laughter, right? <laughs> I mean, talk about humble pie. Be careful what you wish for, because they forgot me, right? So seriously though, <laughs> you know, I think that legacy and what our purpose here, I, I, you know, I don't know everybody on the planet, but I believe that most of us are down here trying to figure out what it is we're here for, what our purpose is. And I know that my time mm -hmm. having been on the national team for so many years, I was so afraid, especially at the end of my career, that I was just a soccer player, like I had this singular identity. And um, after creating this and after figuring out what it was that I believed to be true, I realized that soccer actually was the stepping stone for the, not just the next chapter, but maybe the most important chapter of my life and building um, platforms and building uh, understanding and education around women's rights so that we can live in a more equal place. Um, but yeah, that was, that, was, that was a fun little story that um, never for, I'll never forget that kid as long as I live. <laughs>